Yo, what's up guys, it's Subsonic, and this week I'm back with this tutorial on the vibration bass and the three steps you need to do it. So let's go. Okay, so the vibration bass sounds like this. And this is throat bass. Step one. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to practice for step one, your throat bass, and then what you want to do is bring it lower and low each time you do it. So we'll start at around about a C or a D note, which will be and when you get to the lowest point, it should stop becoming throat bass and it will be, just become like a, a chesty sort of bass. So I'll demonstrate it again. So once you get to that growling stage, that's step one completed, and we move on to step two. Okay guys, so for step two, you want to take that lowest uh, throat bass you can do, and put a small amount of vocal behind it, and then you want to try and pull, pull your, curl your tongue back as you do it, so... And it will start to deepen the sound. Also guys, a little tip, have some water on hand because you're going to get a very dry throat because you're basically vibrating a new part of your throat that you've not done before unless you've done a lot of deep, deep bass, so... I need that H2O. Let's go on to part three. Okay guys, so for part three, this is where it gets tricky. Uh, it's going to require a lot of practice, a lot of water. Um, you're just going to practice that, that lowest throat tone you can do and then just experiment with finding the right the right tone for you in terms of the bass and the vocal. So um, let's let's do, just for example, I'll show you how with high bass you can change the pitch and make it sound almost like a vibration bass. So yeah, see, so I'm really like making the sound louder by just. Increasing the pitch and also the vibration speed, changing the speed of it. Okay, so for vibration bass, you want to try and do that same thing as did with the high bass, but start with the lowest sound. The so it's literally just like a growl from your. And you see, as you put more vocal into it, it becomes similar to the throat bass. It gets that loudness to it, the, the vocal side of it. So yeah. If we just practice just going And yeah, so that's practicing without my tongue put backwards. So if I practice with my tongue sort of put back in my mouth, um, just like this. Just like pointing up as if you're going to do like a hollow clock, right? So you then want to basically so keep that shape in your mouth and then do the same bass sound. So and then it's just tuning that vocal out so you can hear more of the vocal. So if you just remember to sort of push your throat as low as it goes, hold that position. So instead of going, you're lowering it down to, so yeah, it's a very, very distorted sound, but hopefully them three tips have given you a big help to learn the vibration bass. And um, if you've got any more questions, please comment down below. Uh, I've been Subsonic, if you could please subscribe for more videos. Um, let me know what you want me to teach you. Yeah, so like my videos if you like them guys, or if you don't like them, just leave a comment telling me how I can improve at all, um, or what sounds you want me to cover, maybe I'm not covering the, the sounds you want to learn. Um, yeah, I've been Subsonic, and here's the next magical trick.